Okay, we have another related rates example. This time we have the hypothetical cube. Um, the sides are decreasing. So how is the volume, uh, the rate of change of the volume um, decreasing at the given side length at six meters each? At the exact moment in time when the sides are six meters each, what is the rate that the volume will be decreasing uh, because the sides are decreasing at a given rate. All right, so state what we know. Sides are decreasing, so ds, dt, at negative 4. Remember, when something's decreasing, it's a negative rate. So you put a negative 4 meters per minute. Draw the diagram, so there's our cube, except for this time, this is the larger one, and it's it's shrinking, all right? The formulas, but because we only have a side involved, because it's a cube, this is uh, the volume formula is the only one that we'll need. So cubes and squares typically are the, the only time that uh, you only need one of the formulas. When it's beyond a cube or a square, um, most of the time you'll need two formulas. And then we need to find uh, the rate that the volume is changing at the exact moment when the side length is six meters. So here, oops, here is our original volume is sides cubed. When you take the derivative of that, you get three sides squared ds dt because, uh, because it is related rates, we use implicit differentiation. So the derivative of v is one, but then you tack on the dv dt. We just made that one invisible. And now you're going to input everything you know. So six meters is what the side length is. And then ds dt is at negative four meters per minute. So you're going to substitute that. So we have six meters squared. Well, that becomes 36 meters squared. And then you're going to multiply those things together going to rewrite it just like that, and then you're going to simplify by multiplying, and we have uh, the rate that the volume is decreasing, it's decreasing at negative 432 uh, meters cubed per minute, or you could say that the volume is ch changing at 432 meters cubed per minute at a decreasing rate. So depending on what your professor or teacher wants, that's what, that's what you put. All right, that's it.